Hey YouTube, it's uh, been quite a long time. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick overview of my uh, 55 long uh, aquarium that I have uh, going right now. Um, this is a, um, a zoomed out uh, shot right now. All the things you see floating there are dead pieces of duckweed because um, I like to have floating plants in the tank taking uh, extra nutrients out. Um, and the whole reason I was doing this video just ended up going back into the driftwood that you see there. Uh, that sucks, but maybe when, uh, while I'm talking, he'll end up showing himself again. Um, I'll show you a couple things in the meantime, uh, like this amazing pleco that I have right here. Uh, he likes to, yep, and he darted away. Uh, that's, uh, that's fish for you. Uh, uh, but you can see uh, the head of what I wanted to show you anyways, which is this eel that I bought uh, quite a while back. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, it might be uh, 8 to 10 inches long, uh, or it was when I bought it. Uh, it doesn't normally show itself very much, so uh, I have no idea how long it is now. Um, he was out a little bit. I, I just He likes to come out after I clean the tanks. I think he's looking for food right now, uh, which is why I uh, added these... Um, uh, where are they? Where are, I added uh, feeder guppies to the tank a while back. Um, and they've been making a breeding population. There they are. There's two females right there. Uh, they've been, uh, three. Uh, there's a breeding population going on in there. I'm trying to get more uh, plants, like this floating plant here, to grow better so they have uh, space to, and uh, they feel secure to, enough to have babies. Um, honestly, I haven't really been keeping up with the tanks as much as I should, which is why it looks as dirty as it is. Uh, the back glass is covered in some kind of algae film. Uh, I scraped off a good bit of it. Um, I needed to start doing more water changes on, on this thing so the plants start doing a little bit better. But um, all these right here are doing pretty well so far. And I just added, um, if we go over here, I just added some java fern, which is right there. It's still pretty small, but um, they're slow growers, so we'll see what happens with that. It it does look pretty healthy. Um, you, can tell on, you can tell on the java ferns if they're growing or not because of the different shades of, sorry the glass is dirty too um, the different shades of green um, it's really bright green on the leaf there but on the tip there it's got kind of a darker green that's new that's new growth on that leaf um, there's one of my bottom feeders there I have two of those I, I don't remember the names of those either uh, sorry about that and sorry about that buzzing noise that just happened up oh, there's my pleco uh, it's got some really nice color on it it's still pretty small but I haven't had it for all that long, maybe six months or so. Uh, I, I tend to pick a lot of the fish that, that like to hide a good bit. Um, let's see if I can get a different view of the eel head there. I know he has has a bunch of spots on it. Um, and I've always been a fan of eels. I just had no idea they had freshwater ones. Um, and I've had him for... Oh, maybe three months now. He's doing pretty good. I haven't seen him eat. I don't see it out of the driftwood very often, but it is nice to know that it has a lot of hidey holes. I see it uh, where it is right now. I see it come out of there a good bit, and uh, every now and then I'll see it come out of the, the tip of the log there as well. So I don't know if the whole thing's hollow or not or what or if it just moves around a good bit, and every now and then I will see it completely out but not for very long in this corner here i don't know if he's out hunting or what um but uh, the tank the tank's coming along i've been trying to focus on it more and get it cleaned up uh, i had a huge algae bloom in it happen uh, it was the bacterial kind I ended up having to put medicine in it quite a while back and uh, the plants are starting to jump back from it now and i just need to keep up with the water changes but I just wanted to do a quick view. I was hoping he was gonna, he wasn't gonna hide uh, as much as he is right now. He seems to be coming out a little bit more, but that's, I, I don't know. I always seem to go for the ones that like to hide a lot. Um, but I'll try to get an update later. Try to get a better view of him. Maybe I can get a picture or something I can add to this video at some point. But um, yeah, I'll do another zoomed out photo, picture uh, shot of it. Oh, and I'll do it. Um, from a bottom viewpoint of all the the living duckweed and uh sorry guys i'm really bad on the, on the names of the stuff right now but uh this uh bigger version of the floating plant i think i don't i don't think that it's a kind of duckweed it might be um, but it's a, a bigger leaf 
on it. Uh, I have it in my other uh, 55 tall in the other room that I'll probably do a video on at some point too. Um, but uh, I'm a big plant person. I don't know. I'm, I like fish, but plants, I'm better at plants. <laughs> I have uh, potted plants and stuff that I, I very much like and, and enjoy growing growing things. Um, fish are neat. They're, they're a plus to the tank for sure. Um, but plants are my thing. Oh, and he's coming out a little bit more. He's getting, he's getting uh, comfortable, I guess. But all right, on the video, it's getting over five minutes. So uh, thanks for tuning in. You guys have a good one. Take it easy.